Well, I would say it's been an action-packed year, uh, a year of change in many ways. Um, as you probably know, we announced a significant structural change in Group M. We've rolled out WaveMaker, a new agency formed by the merger of Maxis and MEC. We've made significant investments in Essence, an agency that Group M acquired almost three years ago. They have a very special approach and a very deep and meaningful way of thinking about data for clients. And we see demand for that from, from more clients around the world. So we're making significant investments there. We're also rolling out our M platform initiative, which puts data at the heart of the way all of our agencies work with clients. So we've made significant investments in progress. Still much to do there in the next few years, but we're, we're satisfied with the progress so far in year one. We are also putting more accountability and responsibility in the hands of our local leadership teams, including here in India. And we'll talk more about that soon. As we were looking at the changes that we needed in Group M to drive greater accountability for clients and also to make sure that we were investing our resources as efficiently and effectively as possible, we saw great um, similarities and also shared cultures between MEC and Maxis. So there was a natural uh, affinity in bringing those two leadership teams together. Uh, they had clients who shared many of the same requirements of their agency partner around the world. So we were able to combine those two businesses to create what is now Group M's, one of Group M's largest global networks and one of the largest agency networks in the world. The progress is good so far. We're well on our way here in India to launching WaveMaker uh, into the market within the next month, uh, and we're expecting great things of that business here. We're in the process now of putting the M-Platform infrastructure in place, so we've taken the technology that we've developed uh, for M-Platform that is now available here to our teams in India. So they're now adapting it to the local market, working with a number of partners, working with a number of clients, uh, working with a number of our media um, um, vendor partners to ensure we have all of the possible data assets to be successful in the Indian context. So I would expect over the coming months you'll see lots of news about M-Platform and our success uh, here in the Indian market. Uh, I think many people know this, but India is a top five market for Group M globally in terms of revenue and profit. It is our number one market in terms of market share, and it's our, it is by far the fastest growing of our large markets, uh, our top 10 or 15 markets uh, around the world. So India is at the very top list of priority markets for us. We have a great te a leadership team. We have talented, inspired, uh, creative people working with world-class clients, delivering great solutions. Um, and I, like Sir Martin Sorrell, remain very bullish uh, on our business here in India. There is some of that increasingly happening. Again, I mentioned that we have, have uh, a great leadership team here. There's a lot of uh, inspired thinking about the way our business model and the way we partner with clients can develop. We've taken some of the best practices that we see here in talent management, uh, in terms of e-commerce, in terms of data and how we apply data to clients' businesses, and we've adopted those as part of our global strategy. I think we'll see even more of that in the coming years. You, know, if you look at our market share in, here in India, you look at the, 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 the rollout of global best practices from this market, both on the client side and on our side, and only great things can come of that as we further integrate India into our global leadership structure.